All right. Well, if it's happening in Hollywood, then we have the scoop. That's right. Let's bring in Ralphie Aversa, host of Ralphie Tonight on 95.5 WPLJ. And I was just saying, Ralphie, do you ever sleep because you like in the morning, in the night? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I got to go yeah. right to Yahoo from here for trending now. And, yeah. And then on a PLJ crazy, night, crazy. So all good, though. All right. All Thanks good. For me. So get us all uh, revved up about what's going on. Let's talk about love and hip hop. This is kind of uh, crazy, this a story. A ridiculous story when it broke on Saturday. Benzino, who's one of the stars of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, a show on VH1, is originally from Boston. He went back to the area. Oh for his mother's funeral and was shot in the funeral procession oh. by his nephew. What? He's in stable condition and he's okay now and she his was. nephew has been arrested and charged with intent of murder. But just a, a crazy story out of the Boston area. I mean, it's already said that he's got to go up there to, to bury his mom. There's him and Stevie J. I was going to uh, say, that looks else, like Stevie uh, J too. Yeah, somebody else uh, from, uh, from Love and Hip Hop. Stevie had posted that to his Instagram page. Uh, just an, an awful story crazy. though. Do we know why? Speaker? What was behind this? There's been beef? family tension brewing for quite some time. That's all authorities know at the moment. Okay. okay, and of course, to be continued. Let's talk about Gaga. It was her birthday last week. Yeah, it was her birthday on Friday. She turned 28, and she celebrated by opening up uh, her first of seven shows to close down Roseland Ballroom. She performed uh, about an so hour-long set of most of her hits, uh, left a few out, but Poker Face was in there and Just Dance was in there. G-U-Y, her new single off the album Art Pop, was her encore as well. She'll do, again, seven shows. She performed last night. She performs again tonight. And her last show, and the last show at Roseland Ballroom, is on April. April 7th. The Todd Show actually spoke with Gaga last week. Ooh, cool. Yeah, they cool, cool. chatted with her on the phone. Mila Kunis in uh, Iowa over the weekend. I guess that's Ashton Kutcher's home state. And she was uh, showing off a baby bump, I hear. Yes, yeah, she was. Before the trip to Iowa, I believe she was in Las Vegas for CinemaCon. She's got a new movie coming she out, Jupiter Ascending, this July with uh, Channing Tatum. And so she uh, showed off the baby bump. It was her first big public appearance uh, since the announcement or since the news had broken that her uh, and Ashton were expecting. And she was glowing. And and very happy, not just about the movie and about everything that's going on, but she also taped uh, an episode of Two and a Half Men that's going to be airing in April with Ashton. She's very mums of work, as I saw the red carpet for that uh, for that movie, and she was like, you know, just kind of, hey, Ch J you know, Ch um, Channing Tatum, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, Channing, that, the, what, how is the baby? How is the baby? Right. She just sort of walk away, like, you know, kind of not talking but about it. But people are very mom. interested in her. Uh, searches for Mila Kunis pregnant are up like 300% wow. this week wow. on Yahoo. Crazy. Let's talk about Twilight's Nikki Reed. What's from her husband, Idol Paul? Uh, Paul Hello. McDonald. Who is this? I exactly. Don't even know. exactly. I'm sorry. Exactly. Who is this? I'm like, what? They had such a whirlwind relationship. They met in 2011 at a okay. movie premiere, and three months later they were engaged. Okay. Wow. Now, after two years of marriage, they're calling it quits. Here's what I find interesting, though, Corey and Suki. Could you do this with your ex still release an album with them? Because they say that they're planning on doing so. Well, I mean, look at what Gwyneth yeah. and Chris Martin are doing. So they're like, you know, consciously uncoupling. So maybe okay. when it comes to dollars, Conscious. you stay together. <laughs> Apparently, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe Nikki just really wants to put out an album and she knows Paul's the guy to do it with, so. There you go. Who knows? All right, speaking of dollars, we've got to talk about movies over the weekend, and Noah just crushed the competition. Yeah, number one at the box office, surging past Divergent, $44 million it took in. A lot of controversy surrounding this, yeah. that, but okay. a, lot, a lot of people talking about it, and that obviously uh, equaled big dollars for the uh, film starring Russell Crowe. Searches for the movie on Yahoo spiking about 700%. More men than women, though, searching for the movie, 64%. Very interesting. interesting. And Arnold did didn't do anything. He didn't do squat. I was surprised. Arnold Schwarzenegger, another big movie, and it's just... Like yeah, was seventh at the box and office. he did a lot of press around that movie too. I mean, he was really trying to work it, uh, but not so much. Not no, so much. No, Noah's Crow. the big winner from this weekend. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Ralphie, for coming in and giving us the lowdown on what's happening in Hollywood. He's a busy man. Ninety-five point mm -hmm. five. He's on Yahoo. Just search him. Just give <laughs> Ralphie some love. <laughs> Ralphie Aversa coming Thank in. Thank you. We appreciate it.